हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ संगीता परमा फ्रॉम अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई एम हियर टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन द टाइप्स ऑफ द इंटरव्यू तो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द दे आर सिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ द इंटरव्यू बट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर विच हैव डिलीवर आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू द टू दैट इज योर सिलेक्शन इंटरव्यू एंड द अप्रेजल इंटरव्यू नाउ इन दिस इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू cover the remaining uh, the types of the interview and also how the interviewee has to prepare himself for the interview okay so the remaining is what the as you can see on the screen the under stress interview so in under stress interview the interviewee or you can uh, say it as the candidate is put into the stress intentionally so that uh, the particular reaction of that particular candidate or uh, the interviewee can be observed so this uh, uh, this interview is basically conducted uh, with the help of the panels now panel is what is basically a group form there is a expert means it includes outsiders expert customers dealers which uh, all are included in this type of the interview so while uh, in this type uh, in the panel interview this situation is basically uh, under which the candidates candidates are put so that their reaction can be observed how they are uh, going to perform in that particular situation that can be observed so this uh, kind of in uh, this kind of situation or you can say uh, this type of the interview which is basically conducted when the uh, we are selecting a candidate for a post of a uh, teachers principals managers so uh, as in the uh, screen you can see the meaning of the under stress interview is what stress interviews and wall an assortment of the question means to put a candidate in an uncomfortable or a stressful situation which i told you just now which can help employers understand how a candidate or you can say again interviewee responds to these type of the scenarios so this is the under stress interview now moving on to the next part that is what grievance interview now grievance means what students a complaint a grievance is a typically a formal complaint placed by employee based on experiencing injustice or a harsh work conditions that why that's why a grievance interview usually represents a formal way of getting negative feedback from an employee so this is basically it can be a uh, the particular worker Uh, for example may have a grievance against his fellow workers or a particular uh, superiors you may have any uh, complaints against its subordinates so all these things can be covered in that in this particular grievance interview so this is what all grievance interview is about okay so we have uh, studied now the grievance interview now coming to the next part that is what exit interview now student you can see from the name itself is such a exit interview means a particular employee is leaving the organization so a last in depth uh, you know you can say conversations that can be conducted between the uh, the managers and of that particular orga organization and that employee so uh, in the exit interview is a conversation between an employee and their uh, employee likely a human resources representative this is an opportunity to discuss job satisfaction or offer feedback on policy and directions employers can conduct an exit interview in person or virtually or via an exit interview form so basically uh, this uh, interview uh, is uh, conducted in the organization at the time of the when the particular candidate is leaving the organization now coming to the next part that is your next type of the interview that is your group interview now student group interview or you can say it as a panel interview where a group is formed a group of the expert means it the outsider includes experts customers dealers these all are included in a group interview so in group interview is an interview technique in which several candidates are interviewed simultaneously for the similar positions to be successful group interviews must be well planned executed the plan also needs to outline the company objectives and the purpose for using a group interview strategies so these uh, certain, uh, certain strategies are also included in this type of the interview that is your group interview 
so basically uh, you can also say uh, say it as a panel interview so here now we have co considered all the types of the interview again i am going to repeat that as we have seen the first that is a selection interview then next is a appraisal interview then third is under stress interview fourth is grievance interview then fifth exit interview and the last one is group interview now coming uh, to the next part that is how a particular candidate should prepare himself for an interview okay so that has to be uh, which is also one of the most important uh, part of this concept that is all of this topic that is your interview how a candidate should prepare himself for an interview so preparation before the interview it is given here performance during the interview now preparation before the interview means what what all things has to be undertaken by that particular candidate or you can say it as an interview while going for the interview all his testimonials uh, that is the document has to be arranged in a proper file in a proper manner all the documents all the certificates what all uh, he has to carry along with him in the interview also he has to reach a uh, 10 to 15 minutes before his uh, in his or her interview so uh, this points can be considered also we can uh, consider here that the candidate has to be uh, has to be uh, dressed uh, properly in a sober manner in a uh, proper manner has to uh, and the candidate has to avoid the uh, funky hair style has to be avoided all these things can be considered here while uh, you know making uh, preparation before the uh, interview okay now coming on to the next part of is what performance during the interview now performance during the in, uh, during the interview means what the while conduct uh, you know while going through the interview certain things which the particular candidate or interviewee has to be you know uh, undertake that is what appropriate body language first point in uh, interaction and closing the interview so in this part first what they have given you appropriate body language yes so while the candidate while entering uh, to the interview he should be you know uh, greet the particular employer in a polite manner and he has to be uh, awaited uh, for that uh, uh, so that the manager will uh, to uh, tell him to have a seat for that uh, first of all he has to be waited and then uh, he has to be in a proper relaxed manner then so uh, this has to uh, the proper uh, body language has to be there that is the eye contact should be proper the firm hand handshake should be there so all these things can be covered in that appropriate body language next part is what the interaction session interactive session show, uh, where the candidate uh, has to answer the question he has to answer all the question uh, whatever has been uh, asked to him in a, a polite in an honestly manner frankly manner so that has to be he should not uh, uh, saying uh, like the if he don't know the uh, particular uh, answer for any particular question then he uh, he can uh, generally uh, said that uh, you don't know that particular question so all this thing has to be in a proper manner then the whatever the information that particular uh, interviewer or the person who is taking the interview is asking you so all has to be provided in a proper manner what is the qualification what is the experience everything has to be there so that they, it creates a you know a better communication between that interviewer and the interviewee now interview again i am saying here is what nothing but your the candidate now last part is what closing the, as in the last part uh, we were studying about the how the interviewer should prepare so we have seen that the parting last part the same way they have given you the closing that is nothing but the closing of the interview so while going uh, leaving uh, uh, while after giving the interview while leaving from there the all the candidate always always has to thank you to the interviewer then after that he can uh, put uh, a remark there uh, by saying that uh, uh, if the uh, if your interview has gone well so you can you can have a good remark with them by saying i hope you will uh, uh, be giving a uh, good news uh, in a in a uh, uh, coming time so all this has to be uh, considered uh, for that uh, particular interview this all these things which the candidate has to be consider again i am repeating here student 
the first is the preparation before the interview perform performance during the interview which includes your appropriate bo uh, body language second is your interaction third is the closing part of the interview so now uh, in this particular chapter what all things yeah, as you know in the last lecture we have uh, studied about the all the inter about the concept of the interview how the interviewer prepare himself what is the interview process then what are the types of the interview which is very important that is a selection appraisal under stress interview grievance interview exit interview group interview and the last part which is the most important part for the particular candidate has to, he has to keep in mind all these things that is the last part how a candidate should prepare for an interview so the, this was all about the interview concept so all the important things uh, which is uh, needed to be covered under this chapter i have already covered here so thank you so much